Welcome to the speedrun where we get Mario sunglasses as quickly as possible. Most of this stuff I'm going to be explaining as we go along, but let me say that there's 120 shines in the game. But for this run, we just need to get 30, as after we reach 30, there is a very nice Pianta who will give us a really sick looking pair of shades. And that's exactly what this uh, speedrun is all about, is getting those shades. Now, this speedrun actually allows you to start with one shine, because after obtaining this shine, there's like eight minutes of intro cutscenes to go by. Luckily, the people who created the speedrunning category aren't mean enough to make us go through that much of intro cutscenes just to get ourselves a pair of sunglasses. So technically, for this run, Within this video, we are only going to be ob obtaining 29 shines. However, our total is going to be 30 because of this one that we have. And one more thing, this run will be including glitches as well. As a matter of fact, our first glitch that we are going to be doing is right here, right now. Now, this is actually one of the more easier glitches for me to do. Actually, no, I take that back. Um, we're gonna be doing about a total of three glitches, one sequence break, which isn't a glitch per se. Oh, I forgot to start my timer. Okay, it's gonna be a little off, or at least my personal timer. The timer on screen is gonna be correct, though. For this, fr oh goodness, oh, we're already flubbing. Um, so, oh, oh no. So for this first glitch, we want to grab a coconut, do a flip jump, and throw it right there. The second we hit the collision of the um, side of the uh, tower, clock tower, whatever it is, and we're going to accidentally view that for much longer than we have to and because we're going to forget that we're doing a speedrun and we got to go zoom, zoom, zoom as quick as possible. So um, anyone who's played this game before knows that this level that we're doing it this way is not the intentional way to do it. We're just kind of doing this the way that the developers did not intend you to do it. Normally, we would need the turbo nozzle to make it through this stage, but luckily, are we going to make this? That cuts it close. That cuts it really close, but we got our first shine. All right. We don't need to have the turbo nozzle because we just have the power of speedrunning. It's pretty great. So believe it or not, the next glitch we're going to do is actually right now. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab this pepper. Not the pepperoni, but the pepper. And we're going to throw it to where it goes in between those two houses right there. If you don't throw it in between the houses like I did, or not in between the houses, but in between this like little corner area, about like to the left of where that guy's standing, you risk it falling in the ocean, and then you got to go back and get a different pepper. And yeah, we're just going to go ahead and go, uh, go across that. That was a very easy one. Oh my goodness, I didn't have time to explain the skip. Gosh, I did that so quickly. Uh, I did not expect to get that, that, that one that quickly. Yeah, you want to just slide against the wall, and you should, nine times out of ten, clip through it. <laughs> also, for this run, there is a total of 50 blue coins that we need to grab. For the blue coins... Oh, I think I messed that up. Gives you... Oh, oh, I definitely messed that up. There's a little, um... Yeah, no. Gosh, I, get, I got interrupted. But luckily, there's a little cutscene, and I have a little bit of time to finish my thought. For every 10 blue coins, you can turn them in to a really suspicious family of raccoons for one shine. So we're going to get a total of 50 blue coins, and that's going to give us five shines. Now, what I tried to do there was a little trick that you can do, which is basically hit the final hit of the, um, the dude, the, I forgot the name. I know the little guys are called Swoopin' Stews. The big guy that we just beat, I do not remember his name, which is really shameful because I typically have a better time remembering enemy names in games. Um, after you hit the final hit, you want to go and try and collect that blue coin, which I was not able to do. He's going to laugh at our face, which we do not appreciate. And that opens up the first main level, but we're not going to be going there quite yet. We're going to go and grab some blue coins. Oh, ow. Now Mario got a concussion. Dang, my bad guy. So now that we got those two blue coins, now this was actually one of my more favorite levels as a kid. You kind of just slide down this. So you get that feeling in your stomach that you're on a roller coaster and everything is just falling and it's really cool. And we're going to make sure to not die right there. That would be very bad. And I accidentally saved. That's going to cost us some time, but whatever. Um, happens to the best of us. I was checking my notes, so I wasn't paying attention. 
What we're going to want to do in a second is we're going to want to open up Rico Harbor. But before we do that, there is a blue coin I want to grab. Because if we don't grab this now, if I'm not mistaken, I think... I messed up in my practice run, I know. If we don't grab this now, there's going to be a time where if we come over here, a forced cutscene is going to activate. And we really don't want that cutscene to activate when we're in the speedrun. Yeah, we're not even going to be going into Peanut Park at all in the speedrun. I think I messed up this jump. Which I did, okay. So is this the most um, time effective way to go about it? No. But I want to showcase this one. Maybe I shouldn't showcase it. <laughs> okay, it was almost ridiculous how much time I lost to that. That is not as hard as I made it seem. I just really flubbed that. Oh no! So in the one or two runs that I saw of sunglasses percent, I did not see anybody do this level. Which, probably for good reason, it's not very time effective. But I just want to showcase it just to be, just to be a little different, you know? And this guy over here is getting absolutely barbecued. Come over here and let me douse you. You know, maybe you should be running around like that. Maybe you should stop, drop, and roll. Actually, that's probably not a good idea. With all this grass here, if you tried to st stop, drop, and roll, you risk starting this entire place on fire. One more thing for me to mention during this run. I'm not necessarily going for, a, like, a high score or anything. I'm not going for a... What, what, what do they call it? A world record. I'm just kind of doing this to have fun. I think this would be a, a cute little video idea, and I wanted to show off my personal route that I wanted to take for doing this. That wall that I wall jumped off of to uh, do the spin jump and get over to this level, that is not wall jumpable before you beat Shadow Mario, and I don't know why that is. Well, I have my own personal theory as to why that is. That is just solid collision. The developers didn't code that to be wall jumpable, and my personal theory for this is because in the game files, there's not one Isle Delfino map file. There is seven or eight Isle Delfino map files. So my assumption is that... No, I almost got it. No way. There's a little glitch you could do. I'll explain that too in a second. <laughs> so my assumption is that in the original map file that's used for the intro of the game, you know, when Shadow Mario is still coming and Peach is getting kidnapped... I assume that they just did not code that wall to be wall jumpable in that one specific game file, which is kind of funny. Oh yeah, so that little trick I tried to do was I got the final hit on the uh, blob, the, the dude dudes, you know, the little mini boss that we had to fight. And I went to go try and activate the cutscene to enter the stage, Bianco Hills. And you're supposed to get a really, a really funky looking animation that happens if you do that. But unfortunately, I messed up the timing. I guess I got over to where the M was, and I was just like, huh, I didn't think I'd make it this far. And there's actually a couple of blue coins I want to grab here in this level before we finish it off. This is actually going to be the only level that we do in Bianco Hills. So for anyone that really likes Bianco Hills, I do kind of like it myself. Unfortunately, we're not going to be coming back here. Oh, oh no, no way. We missed that. <gasps> oh, that's actually so sad. On my practice run, I ended up getting like a 101 about. We're gonna take a dip in the water. I'm not gonna fill up my tank all the way. Um, oh, that's unfortunate. Nature said no. Nature said you get a concussion today whether you like it or not. So the reason we wanted to open up Rico Harbor but not enter Rico Harbor is because opening Rico Harbor gives us access doo -doo -doo -doo, to Gelato Beach. Now there is some really fast shines you could get to in Gelato Beach. One involving the most difficult glitch in the game, or at least the most difficult glitch in the eyes of many, many people. Oh, add swoopin' stews to Smash Brothers, do it, you cowards. No, I'm just kidding, don't actually. Super Mario Sunshine was my first ever game. So Swoop and Stews were technically the first ever regular enemy that I ever encountered in my entire life. Now, these little guys hold a special place in my heart, and you don't see them ever again in the Mario series, which is really sad to me. I think that they're adorable. I want a Swoop and Stew plush now. Hey, you know what I forgot to do? Oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm so sad. So what we want to do is we want to come up here. We want to spin jump, and we want to come over here to this bell. Now this bell is a little dirty, so what do we do when things are dirty? We just give it a little cleaning. That's what we do best. Super Mario Sunshine is the exact opposite of Splatoon. Splatoon, you make everything dirty. You ink everything. And Mario Sunshine, you clean it up. A great series to be coexisting on a channel, let me tell ya. Now that we've done that, now we can go into Gelato Beach. Now actually, a lot of our shines are gonna be gone from Gelato Beach, let me tell ya. A lot of the Gelato Beach levels take 
forever. Like, let me tell you, there is one boss stage, one mini boss stage, kinda, and then there's the famed legendary sandbird level, which gave everybody that I know absolute nightmares as a kid. There's the watermelon level, which is more nightmare fuel. Yeah, Gelato Beach doesn't have a very nice reputation among the Super Mario Sunshine community. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab this uh, blue coin here since we're... Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping I could pop that guy. Come on. Come on, blue coin. Yeah, there we go. I believed in you. And now it's time. Oh boy, it's time. The famed Gelato Beach skip. This is viewed as the most... All those levels... No, I already messed up. I can't believe it. Why? Mario. Mario. I know I know you were in baseball a couple times, but come on. Don't go, don't go tossing stuff. Oh, and as I was saying, all those famed levels that take a while to do and are absolute nightmares, Mario, that's not the collision that you're supposed to be clipping through. <laughs> we're not going to be doing those. We have a skip around them through the gelato skip, and there's going to be other shines we get instead. All right, here we go. Anyone that follows me on Twitter knows that I've been practicing this. All right. Oh, did I mess it up already? I think I messed it up. Oh no! Oh no! It's not. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Darn! It's watermelon or not watermelon? Oh darn you, coconut! There's actually two, not one, but two blue coins we want to grab real quick. So the first one, we bring a coconut over here as if we're gonna do the Jalalo Beach skip. We just don't. We just sacrifice it, and now it's gone forever. Then we come down here, take a quick, take a quick dive. You're bad! Get good at the game! Oh, man! Oh, we got it! And I got that way quicker than I thought I would, too. Oh, wow. I was afraid that I was gonna have to restart that. Wow. We have access to every Gelato Beach level. Funny enough, so we're gonna head right back to the first one. Now, I understand that, obviously, it's not very practical to uh, scroll through that um little level selection every time, but I wanted to do the Gelato skip early. In case if I had to uh, soft reset the run, I, want, I didn't want to have to have too much I had to redo. Oh, come on, guy. Don't do that to me. Woo! Okay, here we go. Yeah, I like to do this level in this run. I think it's a pretty fast level. Now we get to do it again. Did I just get hit by something? I got hit in a cutscene? Oh, that's not fair. How are you? Okay. Oh, that wasn't a cutscene. And now we get to do it again, but this time with Flood and while obtaining blue coins. And by blue, I mean red. I just forgot my colors there for a second. Not me losing time, though. Watch me go collect correct- <sighs> Words. 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 Watch me go collect the wrong shine, too. That would've been funny. Don't- Here, here's, here's a tip. Don't triple jump into the shine. That just wastes time. <laughs> I have one more, um, blue coin than I accounted for. That's really cool. We're actually- Oh, I was gonna go face Il Piantissimo, but no. Il Piantissimo has to wait, because I forgot. There's a really quick shine we can get here. So what you want to do is you want to come over here. You just want to start spraying. You just want to spray and pray. And if you're lucky, you'll find this. Unless if there is a Pianta or a Noki or some form of person that can tell you about this. I don't know. Maybe like if you talk to uh, somebody here, they'll mention that. That like, oh, hey, there's, uh, there's a secret shine just chilling in the, uh, uh, the sand over there. If you want to go and spray stuff and find it. No, I have no clue how they expect you to find this. Oh, right there. So when you see that little turtle up here, that's when that cutscene can activate if you go into that area. So you want to make sure to get the uh, those blue coins over there before that activates. All right, Il Piantissimo Sand Sprint. I personally think that this level's pretty quick. 
I like to go. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna be going for this one in this run. I think he's a pretty cool guy. There's a theory that he's really the mailman from Ocarina of Time. Ooh, scary. But I don't know if that's like an actual like thing or if I just heard that once. But yeah, there's theories that that's the same dude. If you look under his mask, you can actually kind of see that his head's kind of shaped similarly. Now for Gelato 7. Shadow Mario mission, easy. At least it should be. If you mess up, it's tragic. You can get this guy pretty quickly. Unless if you're me and you mess up that badly. Okay, so this next one, I like to get this now. Instead of earlier. Because since you spawn right over here, right where this shine is, this free shine, hop out of Gelato, take a quick left or right, whatever direction you're facing. It's just right there instead of having to walk all the way there from the, what's it called? From the spawn. All right, who wants to destroy some boxes? All right, who wants to do it again? Nine more. So we got this. Okay, so now it's time for the... Oh, oh, it's time to save a guy. Come here, guy. You're not supposed to be barbecuing. Now give me your coins. Thank you, thank you, thank you kindly. So now for this next one, this is the little sequence break I was talking about. Game? game it's supposed to um there we go i don't i don't know why that happened now okay this one irks me because this was made a lot more difficult in this game in the gamecube release of the game oh darn that was that was almost the thing in the GameCube re release of the game you could just flip jump off of this um wall right here S since this game got put on switch like they didn't make many changes of it but they coded this to where it's not wall jump up ball off of. And I don't know why they did that. To me, that's a really weird change to make. Got it. Okay. So yeah, if you do that, you get quick early access to Pianta Village. You could do this pretty much the second you make it to Till Delfino Island, which I think is really cool. One of my favorite parts about this game is the sheer amount of replayability. There's a lot of shines you could do out of order. If you just know your stuff, you could you could really replay through the game. And every experience could be pretty different. Okay, so we're supposed to have 32 blue coins before exiting this level. So for this level, some poor Piantas, Chain Chomplins got, uh, got off their leash. And now they're... Sir? Sir? No. No. No, you're not. No, you're not. What? Go in the water. Go take a bath right now. I sentence you to bathing. For whatever reason, they're on fire. And they're rampaging over the town and people are a little worried about it. And now it's our job to deal with it. As it is for Mario. All the time. Ooh. Wow. The cutscene actually showed us... Wall hacks. Whoa, we got wall hacks. We can see where the enemy is through a cutscene. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, we actually said there's one guy approaching us. I'm just gonna keep on letting him do his thing. He's not in a very practical spot at this very second to really be trying to throw him into, this, into a lake or a river. Whatever. What, what is that? A creek? A river? Is the river, by chance, rocky? But now you go take your bath. Now we just gotta find this last one. Found him. Wow, that's really practical. Hold on. Blind it. Blind shot. Ah, oh, no. There we go. Two blue coins we gotta grab. Probably my favorite level in the run is actually coming up very soon. Ow, wow. Uh, Mario, don't do that. And by Mario, it's me. I'm the one making the mistakes. You know what, Mario? I'm sorry. I'm the one holding the controller. I shouldn't be holding you accountable for this. For this next one, we get to see the dude again. The dude of dudes. The legend of legends. Yes, we get to see Il Piantissimo once again. There is not one, but two blue coins we have to grab. We can shove it in his face that we're better. And now we just wait for him. Because he's... <gasps> Let's not die. Um. Um. I'm about to clip out. I'm about to clip out of the world. Oh, gosh. Go grab his shine and be on with our day. The Goopy Inferno. So this level is special because you don't get to do Flood with it. And I remember as a kid, I thought this level was awesome. Just like, you're given, you're given Flood, you know, your safety net for the entire game. And now it's just taken away from you. And there's plenty of ways to do this level. I think doing this level casually is a lot funner. Really gets the blood pumping, let me tell you. But for this run, we're just going to be, we're going to be doing it the, um, the way that the developers did not intend for you to do it. And th that's not how. Mario! 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 No! Don't do that. That's not That's not how you're supposed to do this run, by the way. Wow! They kick you out! Wow! That's a lot of time lost. 
tips for speedrunning this game don't die so this is something that happened now there's plenty of ways to go about this level and um but for this run we're gonna be doing it this way we're gonna be coming up here we're gonna be spin jumping from that leaf to that leaf and we're gonna do another spin jump from here to here and yeah that's the entire level done just like that there's plenty of ways to do this level though and that's just my personal favorite way to go about it partially because i actually i found that myself while practicing i'm not saying that i'm the one that found that i'm sure that there's plenty of people that discovered that before me right but i'm saying that i personally found that without any help so i just like to do that one no i'm not taking credit for finding that 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 probably goes to somebody that found it in like 2006 or something don't go around saying that frigid lemons is the one that found that skip uh, unless if I am, which I really don't think so. Now for the last level of Pianta Village. I also really like Pianta Village. I'm glad that we get to spend a little bit of time here. My favorite world is actually Serena Beach. I also really like Noki Bay. Yeah, unfortunately, we do not go to Serena Beach at all in this run. There is a glitch to get in there early, though, which we don't utilize. Serena Beach levels aren't too fast. Yeah, I, I say make sure to carry that barrel with you because it's just throw it at him and he's done now i've had it before this is on the gamecube version back when i was a kid playing this game i actually landed in the water before the cutscene started so the chain chomp crushed me and i wasn't able to beat the level because i died and it was really funny we're reaching the um the end of the run here this is it i'm, I'm sad i was really excited to do this i'm glad i decided to do this so now what you want to do come over here now be careful with this one. If you talk to him at a at the wrong angle, you could actually miss the window here. Maybe it's more of RNG, but I have I have I have I've missed the window. So I don't know. I'm a little on edge about it. It's what happens when you get screwed over a couple times. Remember that stage we opened up all that time ago? Time to go do it. In this first level here, we're gonna be getting the rest of the blue coins that we need. And that's how far we've come. Grab these last 12 blue coins. My notes say to have 36 seven before entering here so i just have an extra left over so i'm just gonna have to try and determine which one is the least practical to grab and just avoid that one can we talk about how catchy of a tune rico harbor music is like gosh darn this song this song's good also i know this isn't the end of the video or not but i just want to say like thank you to everybody that's like watching if you're watching this right now thank you i know i don't typically do mario sunshine content and let me know if you want me want to see more of this i'm gonna mention this at the end of the video i don't know why i mentioned this now but yeah thank you for being here sticking sticking with us throughout the entire run no i'm not a professional speedrunner in this game anyone that speedrun this game be before could probably tell i just enjoy playing it and i enjoy going for the fast stuff just please just hit, hit it before these wow these bloopers did not want to hurt me pacifist pacifist this boss fight is really cool this opening i always thought was really cool when i was younger scared the living heck out of me i was like four years old right so I'm naturally scared by a lot of things, and seeing this thing terrified me, but I thought it was the coolest thing. Now, I've had it done before, where I've jumped while grabbing the nose, and hit the tentacle while I was still grabbing the nose and making, like, momentum with it. I have not been able to replicate that. I think that might have been the GameCube version, but I'm not sure. Not that it probably matters, because they didn't make many changes in this version, besides that collision to the shine tower, which irks me to this day. Oh, man. I'm just kidding. In all, in all honesty, it's not that bad. <laughs> pick green one. It's just, you get you have the most control out of it. You can still go as fast as you want. I used to pick the pink one, but um, I don't know. Just later on, when you're trying to make those precise turns, it's just better to get used to the green one. <laughs> Whoa, you want to go for a red? But go ahead and jump on the blooper. Go ahead and get on. Show me some super blooping, something that I wasn't able to do it. Now, I was actually thinking about doing a another glitch in this level too, but I, I maybe next time. There's actually a glitch where you do not have to ride the bloopers to go through here. This is my first speed run. Cut me some slack. Or my first, like, actual speed run. Like, I've sped run, like, levels in games before. But not, um, full-blown-out, hour-long speed runs. Hey, you wanna know what the best part is? Hey, you wanna know what the best part is? Oh, oh, oh. We get to do it again! Yeah, this is another one that I don't know how they're supposed to expect you to find out. One more shine, and it is, oh boy, it is an easy one. This is one of my favorite skips in the game. I also really like this one, because this is another one that I found on my own, which I know I'm not the maker of this, because I've seen people do this before after I found it myself. I was really proud when I found this one out, and this level, when I was a kid, 
gave me a lot of trouble. Normally, you're supposed to head to the right there. There's even an arrow pointing, hey, go to the right there. But no, we have, we have, we have, the, we have the power of flood. We don't have to listen to nobody. Not a single dang soul. Yeah, we, you just want to come over here, right? 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 You just want to do that. That's it. And then you want to miss it. <laughs> yeah, that was, this level gave me nightmares as a kid, and it's just, just that easy. This is it. We got all the shines that we need to get. Because now, the reason why we want to end off on Regal Harbor is because the very, very nice raccoon family that sells us the stuff that we need is right in here. Welcome, welcome. I suppose you're here for that. Hmm, yes, something. Blue coins, 10. Exchange strength rates, 5. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Refunds? No? Yeah? Question mark? Let's go. All right. That's all the shines we need. And we're going to go over to the nice little friendly yellow Pianta chilling over over here at the... Uh, little beach side staring off at the sun that's not there and he's gonna be like hey little man you want some shades you like to look cool i like to look cool there we go and that's the run right there could have i done better for sure one no doubt in my mind i could have done way better on this right yeah i messed up quite a bit on places so my sequence breaks didn't go well this i died once or twice if this video gets let's say 50 likes i don't i've never done something like this before where i've um set a goal for likes if this video could get 50 likes five zero i will go for, I'll, I'll try this again and i will actually go for a, a better run I'll, I'll try and beat this record if you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe i got a patreon twitter all that cool stuff thank you for sticking around to the end this was really fun to do if you want me to try different speed running categories for this game or other games uh let me know and i'll i'll, I'll probably give them a shot someday because this was really fun and I'd love to do something like this again. But yeah, until next time, with our little panicking toad, <laughs> peace.